everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it is that you are watching this. For me, it's afternoon. Um, so we have recently finished our mini series on flowers, and it's about the time I'd start to pick a new mini series, and I just haven't picked one yet. So instead, I have chosen um, some little challenges to for us to do. So today we're going to do our non-dominant hand challenge, or for me, the left hand challenge. So I, in, so I'm going to, I'm going to be, um, very honest here. I do a lot of things with my left hand, but I am right handed. I do write with my right hand. I always color with my right hand, but my left hand can do a lot of things. Like I can eat with my left hand. I can write on a whiteboard with my left hand. But I've really never colored with my left hand. And so I thought it would be fun to see how much talent or lack of talent this hand has. So I knew that um, doing this, my hand, this hand is not up to a lot. So I have picked a fairly small illustration for this out of Camellia De Recco's um, Pop Manga Coloring Book. And so it's, I wanted to do a person because I color people a lot and so I wanted there to, just so we could compare, you know, to see how really good or bad it is. And, um, and I didn't want it to be too big. So kind of a small one. I also wanted to give myself the best chance possible. So I have chosen to use my Prismacolors, the ones that I use quite for the most I use them the most so I've chosen to use them um, as always everything I'm using will be on the screen right here and down in the um, description box down below will be links to everything I'm using the coloring book the pencils anything else I choose to use um, yeah so should we zoom in and get started I'm a little nervous Alright, I wanted the picture to be fairly simple, so I've picked a fairly simple color palette. Just sharpen these up a little bit. Okay, cool. Okay. Go play, please. So I have my sharpened pencils, pretty simple color palette. I always start with the skin because I always figure if I mess the skin up, I'm not too invested yet. So I think I'm going to stick with that and start with the skin. Um, I'm going to start with light peach and we'll color this in. Oh, this is hard. Okay. I might have to take my watch off. <laughs> you probably can't even see much. It's pretty light. Alright, let's just get this color down. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Put your back into it. Oh, 
Okay. Now let's take chestnut for some shading. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna have to take this watch off. Computer, why are you making all this noise? Do you guys want me to fast forward this so you don't have to see how tragic it is? Whew. Let's get some of this in her ear. Okay, and then her nose. Ooh. Nose, her nose. I am nervous to do her nose. Let's see. We'll just... We just won't. <laughs> okay, we can do this. We can do this, come on. Just down one side. Make her pretend, think she has a nose. <sighs> okay, under her lip. Let me do this. Okay, and then around her neck. Because her neck would be darker. Maybe a shadow there. Okay. Whew, this is looking rough. Alright, now let's grab the nectar. And let's see if we can shade some of this out. Blend some of it in. I want it so badly to just grab it with my right hand and <laughs> blend it out. Okay, we don't know we're not gonna do that though. Maybe we'll just kind of take this color down on her jawline. I'm sure no matter how rough it's gonna look, it's still gonna look amazing. Right? Right? Okay, maybe not. Blend some of this out on her neck. Oh, went out of the line there. That's okay. Alright, now this nose. This sad and tragic nose. Okay. Do this down. Take it out a little bit. Really light pressure. Got this. Okay, we gotta do something around her eye. I'm just feeling a little discombobulated. Let's see here. Trying to keep my pressure light, which is hard because I don't feel like I have a lot of control. But I know it will do better if I keep that pressure light. I'd like to take this up and around her eye a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, let's keep going. We got this. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this on her lip. Just like so. Let's go in there. I'm going to grab just a little bit of pink to put kind of in her cheeks. This is deco pink. I'm just gonna kind of Okay, all right, and then I'm going to go back to the light peach, yes, light peach, and try to bl blend this out. We'll see. We shall see. Hopefully that will help me feel like I have a handle on it as well. Have some control and help blend out some of the mess of the other colors. Goodness. When I was playing percussion all the time, you like, you learn, you have to like, what you do with one hand, you have to be able to do with the other hand, you know, you're only as good as your least dominant hand. And so I would spend a lot of time trying to do what I could do with my right hand with my left hand, but this is turning out to be quite difficult. Probably just because I haven't done much of that kind of practice with my left hand in quite a few years. Lost quite a bit of the control I used to have in it. Though of course I never tried to color with my left hand, so <laughs> who knows?
Okay, that was one side of her face. How the other? Okay, I mean it's not as smooth as I would have wanted with my right hand, but I think, you know, beggars can't be choosers here. I'm going to go back to that deco pink, just add a little more cheeks, let's see if I can. My right hand wants to jump in so bad and just take over that it kind of keeps putting itself in these odd positions. As if it's its own entity, of course. <laughs> okay, there we go, that added a little bit. Okay. Woo. Face, we're calling the face done. Oh goodness. Oh, you zoom out far enough and squint. Not bad, okay. <laughs> Oh, hair, 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 hair. I'm so nervous about hair. That's going to be hard. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I was kind of thinking these colors. Well, let's go ahead and use that chestnut and try to put in some shading. I don't know, you guys. Hair. There might be something else. This might be some rough hair. She'll have some bed head. Just woke up with her teddy bear. Okay, <laughs> I was going to put a little of this raspberry in there, I don't know how that's going to look, but let's go for it, why not, right? Got a nice sharp point, don't know that that's going to help me today. We've got some nice scribbles there and just lay it down, you know, you want to make it nice and tight and get each hair stroke and don't worry about blending because your hair is not all. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is rough. Uh. Alright, well we got a little red in there, goodness, 
Now let's go to the light umber. I kind of just want to like oh, just scribble a little bit, like fill it in a little bit. It's so spotty. All right, let's put a little blue in her eyes. So I've got some denim blue here. Oh goodness. Okay, we'll just kind of put a little in there. Make her look like she has blue eyes. Okay. Okay, <laughs> just ignore that. <laughs> okay, now our teddy bear. Oh my goodness, this sad little girl. Let's put a little blue on her. Right there. Okay. nervous about that needle now. Okay, let's take a little of the deco pink and put for on his feet and on his like little mouth. Okay, not only am I doing this with my left hand, I'm trying to do it like fairly quickly too just because one, I kind of want to get it over with. <laughs> two, I don't want this to take forever on your guys' part. Okay, get it down. You can do it, left hand, you can do it. Oh, come on, left hand, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, we got some pink. Okay, now let's color the majority of the burnt bear in the um, chestnut. I'm not gonna do the patches, I'm just gonna do the bear in this chestnut, oh goodness. And I'm going to hold my breath the whole time I do it. He's going to blend in with her hair. Okay. It's okay. This is for fun. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. If I turn the pencil a little bit. Let me get that color on there. Use more of the larger muscles in my arm rather than in my hand. Let's see if we can't get a little bit smoother. Okay, and then I think he has kind of like a patch on his knee, but maybe not on his foot. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Lefty. Like, left hand appreciation day, you guys. Appreciate all you lefties out there. This is hard. I'm sure coming with your right hand, though, would be the challenge, right? That's why it's the non-dominant hand challenge and not the left-handed challenge. Oh, 
oh, that's like half his ear is like gone. Okay. You know how kids will color and they just scribble and they don't care, you know? It's kind of how I have to be right now. I just have to not care that I go out of the line. Not care that it's not perfect. I'm just glad I got color on the paper. My hand's getting tired. Okay. Let's add a little bit of shading with this dark brown. Just a little bit. I don't want to do too much because my hand's starting to hurt. He's getting tired. He's getting very tired. Okay. You got this, Lefty. You can do it all the way to the end. You're not that far off, really. Okay, that's, that's something. <laughs> okay, now let's grab that denim blue again. I want the patches to be the blue because it's like they patched it with denim, you know? Right hand, what are you doing again? You're like all tense too. You're almost as tense as my left hand. Oh goodness, okay, cannot color blue. How can I? I almost like want to put it in a really strange grip. I don't let Curly see it. Curly hates to color. He hates to hold a pencil. He has a really hard time. He, he's autistic and part of it is that like his joints are very, very flexible and loose, like holding his hand, it's like holding jello. It just feels like it's not connected together. It's really weird. Anyways, and so he, he doesn't like to color because he, or draw or be forced to hold a pencil because they think it's because a lot of it he doesn't have, because he's so flexible, he doesn't have a lot of control. And so he'll do weird grips and stuff and they try to get him to hold it in a tripod or a pincher grip but he has a hard time. Maybe now I know why. Don't have any control. <laughs> I'll just fist it like he does. <laughs> just feels so weird, okay. Come on, you can do it. I need like cheerleaders on the side. A little bit more. Jamie, Jamie, she's the one. If she can't do it, no one can. That's not how it goes, is it? Okay, <laughs> I wasn't a cheerleader. Okay, I don't know what to do with that eye. Guess we could, well, we'll, we'll just put a little brown on him. A little chestnut. Blend him in. Oh, now he just looks like he's got, he's kind of sad. He's kind of sad. That's no, okay, you can be kind of sad. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of sad too. <laughs> okay, I have this um, silver pencil that I'm going to attempt to put in this needle with. bad there and then I kind of want to take this raspberry <sighs> I kind of wish I hadn't put it in the hair but I just kind of want to take a little bit of it down on her shirt just so we have it somewhere else
There we go. There we go. So except for her hair, I really don't feel too bad about this. I could take a little bit of indigo and maybe add a little shading on the denim. Like, I just think her hair is atrocious, but other than that, it's not horrible, right? Right, guys? Right? <laughs> oh, we have this. Okay, this button here. We feel about the button. What color do we want to do it? Maybe we should just take that silver again. All right, let's zoom out and take a look at her. <laughs> So here is our left-handed challenge. She is quite the looker. I'm looking for an eraser. Maybe help us out a little bit. Oh, I have one in here, but it's like a mess. Here we go. Okay, let's just take this kneaded eraser. Let's see what we can do. Maybe not much. Oh, here's my Tombow mark eraser too. Okay. I just have a couple of spots that I really like to erase. So the blue that went down in the white of her eye. I'm gonna attempt to do this with my left hand. I might just make everything worse. It's not erasing much. A little bit though, and then there's some and hair's really not that big a deal. It's mostly just that blue in her eye. So if you take a look and you really squint, she doesn't look too bad. I really hate her hair, but other than that, I don't think it's horrible. So <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to do a couple more challenges and then we'll start another mini series. As of right now when I'm filming, I don't know what that mini series is. So if you'd like to leave suggestions down in the comment box, that would be great. If I don't do it as my next one, I may use it in the future. So please give me suggestions of what you would like to color. So um, I hope you guys have an excellent day and an excellent week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!